Full reactions are available on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of Arcane Episode 3. The base violence necessary for change. And press play, and it went out, press play when the timer reaches zero, so. Excited by this title. The horrifying philosophy implied there, like someone's doing a calculation, a ruthless calculation, like if X number of people die, if only X number of people die, so-and-so action is okay. Oh, I'm leaning towards Victor being the likely, based on the previous episode, of uh, lines of dialogue, but it might also be, oh, the science guy who's making the mutagen. I don't quite think anyone else really fits that bill, unless Vander is going to make a decision. We'll see. Start the timer in 10 seconds. I'm not sure that worked properly. Starting the timer at four seconds. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Just being safe. <laughs> Foreboding. I bet you were, like the previous two episodes, we're going to start with another character's backstory. Oh, science guy! Yours is the only portion of the story I'm not overly digging yet, so if you can bring me around, this will be all great. What is that? Ooh. Well, that's not enough. I need more. Don't... <laughs> Don't do that. Reminds me... of my favorite song from Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog. My second favorite song. Brand new day. Oh, let me see if I got it right in my head. Uh, brand new day is when Neil Patrick Harris's character, Dr. Horrible, gets a new lease on life in how he has a perspective of his own actions and what he can do in the world. And a crux of it is him, in the song, thanking his nemesis for being the catalyst for this shift in thinking. The line is, so how can it be that you have shown me the light? And that's kind of the vibes that gave me there. So, anything that makes me think of the better parts of Dr. Horrible is a win. Starting the timer at 2. Oh, four. In three, two, one, go. I 
I do want to say that for a show that's only, I think, nine episodes, yeah. And I don't know if there's meant to be more seasons. This has all been very tightly done so far. Where it's like, I feel like, and it, with, without, like, sacrificing any storytelling, I feel like the climax to everything we've seen so far could occur in the next 45 minutes just because of how much we've gotten so far, but obviously we're not, we're not going to get that many resolutions in one episode, one third of the way through the show. So it will be tough keeping that tight storytelling for another six, seven episodes. Let's not focus on the pride. Oh, no. Oh, no! Yeah, you're doing what you think is best, and you, you're probably right, but at the same time, it might be what breaks her. Doomed. I don't think so. Maybe eventually, but not this minute. Oh my. I would actually really respect if he, if he's not dead, but because of this, he's just out of the show for a long time. Like, it would actually be a different kind of progression for this character. Instead of dying, which I've been expecting, for that to be the case. And it's just, it sticks. It's not like he's going to be broken out of prison in two episodes. No! Ah! Is that, uh, the mutagen man? Which, I, I guess, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is the terminology I'm going for here. I just don't know what else to call that potion. So, is she did? No. Uh, you're cuffed up, too. It's it's not mutagen, man. I, I assume he's with you. <laughs> oh boy. So is he taking orders right now? I figured he'd go crazy. <laughs> Come on, I really, really don't want you to die. You're too cool. I don't think... Oh, no. Oh, they're not killing him. That's... Unless he's already dead, but I don't think so. I think they would have made that clear. Oh, man, he's regretting his decisions. I wonder if he'll become a more... 
a character with more depth after this. I was looking for a way to put depth at the start of that sentence, and I was failing. Well, well, you knew this was going to happen, or at least you should have assumed. I get that that you still upsetting to you, but you should have known. There's at least one. I was going to say, to be a part of something matters more to some people. Like, giving this guy the ultimate benefit of the doubt that he is completely thinking selflessly. <laughs> Which might be more than he deserves. We'll see. <laughs> I sort of respect the mentality he he's going for. I don't think he's that cool, but here's open because I actually kind of like him a lot. Yeah, that would be your not great day. Ooh. Okay, so Deckard still has some degree of humanity to him, physically. Oh, it is you! And your name is Silco. I think I can get that down now. Silco. Which I think is the evil corporation in Pokemon, isn't it? Ooh. Uh, you sound like Syndrome. This is really the first time we've gotten to hear him be this passionate about something. It's nice hearing him be around some someone who doesn't expressly work for him, I guess. Or otherwise fear him. That was him? No. No, there's more to it. Okay. But why? And how'd you survive? Oh, the world is in danger if this guy and Jace meet. Do 
dude, it's amazing how many power players they have just trying to completely flip the game board. Upend everything. Dude, if they both survive, uh, for this foreseeable future, I'd love to see this relationship, how it develops beyond this point more. Woohoohoohoo! That was just, that was very pretty. The cigarette. <laughs> Professor Heimerdinger! He's gonna be here, isn't he? They'll get what they need, because the, the story needs to happen, but something's gonna go wrong. Maybe that one board member. Yeah, I called it! Just in time, I called it! Counselor. Yeah, that's not the point. <laughs> They're literally working in shadows right now. Yeah. I don't necessarily think this is going to have great results, but he de generally agrees with my thought process from the previous episode. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Respect the dibs! <laughs> Only if Zim's okay with it. Yep, real consequences. Are you guys still ready for this? Ooh. Getting straight ready for war. You might not be afraid, but she is. No. I just worry it might be more dangerous for her to be alone. She's gonna make moves of her own, isn't she? Oh. 
God forbid it doesn't work. <laughs> I look, you like. <laughs> I was just uncharacteristically goofy for him. Trust you. The way he sound said that didn't sound like desperation so much as some kind of knowledge. Oh, that's a, that, that's shit. <laughs> that's just a very. Cry scenes in movies are usually awful, and this one's just like, A, animated well, B, the actual characterization is great. Ah! Ah! Is that going to distract from what Victor's got going on? Oh, shit. Oh, double shit. Move! Oh. Oh, oh. I keep saying what Victor's got going. Victor and Jace. Victor's cooler, so it's easier to think of him first. Someone's gonna bust in on them right now. I think so. I think a terrible accident's about to happen. That's gonna have an effect. Oh, uh, because they couldn't have curtains. <laughs> Wait. Whoa, it's like coming back? Oh, I thought the glass was going to reform. Indubitably. I'd suggest getting that machine out of there while you still had time, though. I'm just saying. Oh, they busted in here much easier than I thought it would have been. Come on, man. Lock picking it, it hasn't always been needed, but now. And you were lowered, it was bait. Ooh. Why can't they just actually do that? I think that Vander would be cool with that. Come on, man. Come on. I'm I'm rooting for you. Obviously.
I get that the gauntlets did most of the work, but I don't particularly like that it was raw strength <laughs> that seemed to hold back that blade. Nice. <laughs> it broke. Not great. <laughs> Look at him getting encouraged. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. Ooh. I love seeing these two operate with purpose. More than just trying to rob a place, they got, they got stake in this. Oh. <laughs> He's got a trump card. He ain't scared. Oh, he needs it. It's an addiction. He was excited this time. Ooh! It's an abomination. Did that make a great Resident Evil bad guy? In fact, he kind of looks like... Oh, I don't remember what they called him, but the main bad guy in Resident Evil 2 that progressively got more mutated over the course of the game. No, 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 no. Just like drop her or push her. Don't, don't squeeze. At least he didn't break her windpipe. Oh my god. The worst part is she agrees with Silco's line of thinking. Girl, girl, move! <laughs> it ain't, it ain't over. Oh, or they, they tell me they can get out of here. What are they hoping to accomplish here quick enough? Ooh, he's controlling that part of it, too. Are they trying to, like, teleport like they did? Yes! Oh, the machine got... Oh, they're flying. I thought they were trying to teleport. I don't know they know how. Ooh, she showed up at just the right time. Oh dear. Whatever Victor and Jace's intentions, hers are not. <laughs> Gonna be great, are they?
Good God, stop being right next to the door. Move. Nice. Oh, that's fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy's about to get blown to smithereens! Maybe. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, and she's on top of a building. No. It can multi-shot? Who died? What the, was the woman who's always with him? Got disintegrated. Oh, shit, or at least her arm. Okay. Start the timer at 2833. Three, two, one, go. The way it can do it over and over again is the scary bit. Oh shit, it's hurting everybody. You're happy something finally worked, and you you might have saved Vi, but it at great cost. Possibly to yourself, and almost definitely to Milo. Oh, shit. He was almost free to- Oh, no! Man, Powder definitely should have just stayed back. Oh, shit. There's no way, Vi. No way. Possible, the other two. Possible. No way. Man, he's still okay, too. What kind of bullshit potion you drinking, man? It is not FDA approved. <laughs> Vander at war. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't think you got the, the, the raw strength, do you? You sh Shit! Maybe you can toss him down below. No, I, I, the only idea was for him, not you. Okay. Oh, is her neck, like, twisted? Oh, okay, no, no, it's not that bad. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. And she saw Powder's thing. A robot. Yo! Oh, man, it's a repeat. 
It's a fucking repeat in reverse! Find the girl? You talking about powder? Cause Vi's right the fuck over there! <gasps> no! No, that's no, 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 probably a bad idea, man! You gotta do it though, save your family. Oh shit! Oh, man. What you get for having an oversight, Silco? Did you just snap this fucking thing's neck? Oh, he's got focus. He's got willpower. Y'all better run, motherfucker! Oh, he's got real willpower and focus. He's... Oh, that confirms that Milo, Clagg are gone. Oh, shit. Powder's probably not, because we would have seen her die. We would have seen her. They wouldn't have... They wouldn't do that. That'd be... Especially since we just saw their bodies. Let's just kill half the main cast on episode three, okay? No, it didn't! Oh, God! And they were almost free, too. Like, it wasn't a perfect situation that was probably still super dangerous, but she made it so, so much worse. No, you, yeah, it's family. You, you, I, I can't do. Oh no! You need to choose family, Vi. Oh, don't leave her. No. It's gonna, the body's gonna burn. No. Seriously, Vi. Come on, dude. Oh, 
the fuck's wrong with you? Like... You'll kill somebody else too, my dude! This guy's not that tough! He's dangerous for sure, but average with a knife! It seems, anyway. Oh, he's got a crew. I thought it was just him. Oh, God. He's not gonna kill Powder. He sees potential or whatever, I hope. Come on. Oh, this, this is fucking bad. <laughs> My dude. Yeah, it's a these pat pat. That's what that's at me. He knows what that's like. I think a part of this is. I think a part of this is genuine. Even if he's still completely focused on his own goals. Look at that red glint. It's episode three. Look, I, I inadvertently kind of called that Milo and Clagger were oddly underdeveloped compared to the other two, but I thought that's just because we hadn't had time for them yet. I thought that they were just going to get rid of them. I expected Vander. To die in this episode, not Vander to die, Clagger to die, Milo to die, the other two to be broken up. I, I'm pretty sure Deckard's dead too. And the, the woman who it was uh, Vander's friend. In the uh, police force. Enforcers. I think she's dead too. Marcus seems cooler than he seemed. Every major faction got completely shaken up in this episode. Whether it be from fucking all of them dying. Or just completely re... <laughs> power moves in the frameworks of the Victor, Jace, whatever her name is. Dynamic. Dude, I was already hooked. But I wasn't ready for- I'm usually, like, a little more emotionally prepared for a show to rip my soul out. <laughs> Towards the end. Like, not like this. This is just... Where do we go from here? I'm guessing like a time skip next episode because... Shit! Vi has to realize her mistake. 
Even though she was gonna go after Powder and she was stopped. Soon. No. Oh, man. The sad thing is that Powder's efforts may be what saved Vi. Like, we, we, we'll never know. We have no way to know. But the others, they were almost out. That was just... My fucking God. This is just terrible. I think I... Oh, ready for this. Next time, I guess I shit.